Welcome back. So why did I change my front sprocket? How did I do it? What, if anything, is the benefit? Stay tuned and I'll tell you. So as you know, the Explore, that is this issue with the, I've got it, some people don't have it, may well be me, may well be the fact that I'm picky, but I've still got this little bit of a snatchiness. You can't deal with it, but it spoils an absolutely perfect point. So talking to a friend in America, what he did is the last thing he did to change his bike was to change it from sprocket. So the front sprocket on the uh, MT 800, either the Tudin or the Explore, is 16 ton. So what you want to do is you want to go up to 17, or if you're going at the back, you'll find the rear end easier. Go down three. So I uh, search the internet for the correct sprocket, and the one you want is off a KTM 690 SM Supermoto. I put a link down. I think it was about sixteen pound twenty five. That's the one you want. What it's going to do, it's going to alter the gearing of the bike. It's going to take the gearing up a little bit. And that should alter the rev range that you're working in. Well, that's the theory. Well that's the why, how, well you can do it yourself if you've got the right tools. If you haven't got the right tools, don't, uh, don't try it. So how to do it, first thing I did was loosen the back wheel off and shove it right forward in the frame therefore making the chain slack then you want to drop the bike in gear then you want to take off the chain guard that's uh, easy to, easy piece it's about three or four little allen key bolts but you'll need to release the gear linkage at the top to get the chain going off. Once you get on, gets that off, you'll expose your sprocket. If you take a look at your sprocket, it's got a big nut on it, holding it on, but it's also got a washer that's flatted over to stop it coming undone. So what you need to do with that is a, a blunt screwdriver and flatten off the washer so it is flat. Once you've done that you need help of a colleague because you need them to put the foot on the brake where you undo the big nut on the uh, cob. You can do it by jamming your chain but I didn't fancy that because it might put too much pressure 
one natural link. So I've got actually Mark my next door neighbour to put his foot on the brake while I undid the big nut. It's a normal anti-clockwise to get it off, but it's quite tight. You'll need a bar or a decent torque wrench to undo it. Once you've done that, you've got to try and get the sprocket off. And to get the sprocket off, you're going to need a gear puller. Because without the gear puller, you really ain't going to do it. If you try to do it with a crowbar or a screwdriver or whatever, it's really, really tight and you'll end up damaging your cases. So what you actually need, what you actually need is a four inch, two or three prong puller. If you've got one of them, it's easy peasy. You just put the prongs on the back of the gear lever, tighten it up and off it pops. The chain will come off with it but you can release it from the chain quite easily and that allows you to drop the new one on all you do with the new one is exactly the same but in reverse obviously the existing washer you'll have to flatten it over again turn it over to open the nut but other than that straight forward obviously then set your, your chain, make sure your wheel's level and your bike, set your chain, I set mine to 50, 50 mil on the centre stand. And that's it. It ain't our job to do, but without a gear puller, You've got absolutely no chance. So that leads us to the uh, what, as in what difference does it make? Well basically what it does, because it's hired the gear in, you work in a different rev range on the bike. I have found between 3,000 and 4,000 is where the throttle is a bit snatchy. And you're in a different gear, you're in a different level now. You're pulling higher. So your revs are slightly up, so you don't find it so much. You know, rocket science, but it does actually work. And it suddenly turns the bike into something else. You know, I can't take any credit for this. The guy in America who told me what to do. And it does make a difference. You still can get a bit of jerkiness like that. If 
be shipped with a sort of like I am at times. We want a road that's full of absolute potholes like this. But it does make a difference. Now I'm riding in sport mode and I really didn't like sport mode because I felt it was too sharp and this has levelled it right off. I wouldn't say it's completely transformed the bike but to me it's made a difference. It might not to you and if you're already happy with what you got I wouldn't bother. Tell wise I think you lose a fraction of acceleration but it ain't much but you do gain a little bit more you're obviously going to gain a little bit more at the top end I would have thought but not a lot but as I say it's just smoothed it right out for me now I've also done the link pipe which really didn't do anything if I'm honest it just gave me a bit of boost in the middle it didn't do anything in this regard throttle wise As you can see, there's still plenty of punch there. You know, you ain't lost anything. But to me, it's just... I think it's the final piece of the jigsaw that I was after. And it now makes me able to sit and ride this in sport mode without the jerkiness and as I say it ain't rocket science all it's done it's altered the rev range it ain't done anything that's altered the fueling oh what a diversion again noise so folks that's what I've uh, that's what I've come up with which are on a bloody green line now it's just took the edge off it he said that as he started jumping all over the place I think that's me and the Rudy Road surface off this oil. From the deadly gravel away. Gonna meet someone coming down here, it's gonna be fun to eat. So folks, that now seems to be the job done. The link pipe, it's a lot of graph and a lot of noise. That's all it is basically. A little bit mid range boost. Which probably been more bike too loud. So until the next time, it's your long wolf. So I'm boy for now. And don't forget, give us a tick, give us a like, subscribe. Help this channel grow. Could have been fun, couldn't it? Especially on this gravel. So to the next time, slow next time, slow wolf. So in bye for now. Don't forget to tick like, subscribe. Drop us a comment. But most importantly. Just be careful out there. No wolf, bye for now.